Good day, everyone, as well. Oh, just this them as FVS. Oh, it's kept buggered. Yeah, it didn't charge up an AC, NST, or MOT. So I tried as FVS, and what do you know? This cap's fine. I just went, oh, yeah, it's not going to work. I'll be very careful. He had a little shorting strap here. I just had a little shorting strap for safety. Went and closed the shorting strap, and boy, it scared the crap out of me. There's a, uh, there, I discharged the hands. This thing's fine. This cap's fine. I'm going to have to make a bar, some sort of bus bar to go on there, have a hinge, open it, have some fun with it, have a safety stick, insulating stick, and just close it during storage. Open it and close it for safety. So, yeah, this thing's fine. I thought this was buggered, but um, he has got another one of these there. It's got a couple of chips on the insulator. That's about it. So if I get that one out as well, uh, series or parallel, I'm not going to have some fun, but I'm going to have to get some copper bus bars from somewhere, like Photon used for his big transformer. I want to make it so it hinges. So open it, have some fun, and close it and adjust if I have a little spark gap. Have some fun with it. Have a big insulating stick that I can just go remotely and just push it shut. And that will stay closed during storage. Even though there is a um, discharge resistor. According to the specs, the resistor inside this capacitor will bleed this thing down to under just under 50 volts within five minutes. So this is there for additional safety. It scared that crap out of me. Can I start having some fun with this capacitor? I have to get another um, proper shorting strap though. I just use this to discharge it. They're not, not a very good way of doing it. It might blow that lead to smithereens. Yeah, I'm going to start having some fun with this capacitor, I think. I have to um, get some bus bars from somewhere. I have to use a. Yeah, I could use a bit of steel, but steel will probably work. A bit of steel strap to short it out, but I think copper will probably be a more professional way of doing it. Bloody hell, this thing was mental. <sighs> Let's see, it's uh, 126 microfarad at 7.5 kV. It's a self healing capacitor, so it won't matter if I over voltage by the slightest, it will heal itself back up. Now this thing must be put in that DC though, I can't, I don't know. There must be an internal rectifier in there. There's modern flybox of an internal rectifier. Because when I use my um, clamp meter to measure the uh, the amps, it was supposed to be the AC, but it was going crazy. So maybe um, this is putting at a DC voltage still, after all the um, torture I've given it. Still the same, 36 volts, ZVS, that transformer. Charging that up and oh boy. Scared that crap out of me. I'm going to put my earmuffs on this time and get the tripod set up and give you a demonstration. Alright, I've got the shorting strap sorted out. It goes there. It is discharge this capacitor. Safety first. Yep, discharged. I'm going to get the wiring up from the ZVS and hook it up and start having some fun. Now I'm going to have to, um, yeah, I will try and buy the other capacitor. Not that first one I got with a broken insulator, there was another one again. Which had a chip on the first two lots of insulators there on the other one. But it was still, in, other than that, it was in perfectly good condition. This was the best of the three of them. So if this proves to be good, I'll get the other, that other one. And I'll see if it's got the copper bus bars there. I'll design a safety system before I start using these to blow stuff up. So safety first. Very, very important with things like this. This thing is... Just pumps death in the circuits. All right, on my safety mat. Not charged up by much. The longer I leave it, the bigger the bang. Yeah. It works quite well. More, I've got to get, I'll build an IGPD, IGBT driver for this. This wire is probably going to get bang. Be very, 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 very careful of this bloody thing. Yeah, I'm only, uh, 
too long a wire to my batteries and I've got lots of DC drop so I get less than 36 volts in my on ZVS. That was a bit better. Let it charge up a bit. Yeah, I'm going to have to strongly um, recommend building a good shorting strap for this. Now I gotta find myself a watermelon. Disconnect. Hold that there. Yeah, the 1000 mega ohm resistor internal in that capacitor discharges it. Good. You don't just rely on that, I'm gonna do this as well. And there we are, with a stronger driver, with a better power supply, a bit more volts, or uh, not as long leads in other words, no voltage drop, I should be getting pretty good bloody um, result with this. Yeah, this is proven to be quite fun. But again, I'm going to have to design a short strap for this thing. Like a bus bar, just hinge it, open it up to have fun, and close it. I leave it shut to short it out during storage and I'm not using it. Yep, discharged. Whew. Yeah, the longer you leave it charged up, the better. It's because it's such a big capacitor. And I'm only using the um, modern half, get my multimeter, measure the voltage drop here. So, get my multimeter, measure, measure the voltage drop to that point there from the battery bank. I bet it's not quite 36 volts. Normally, a capacitor like this would charge full in next to no time. Alright, uh, yep, check the voltage here. Ah, yeah, 34 volts, I dropped 2 volts. My batches are a bit weak too, so I've been uh, giving them a hard time on the ZVS the last couple of days, so probably not quite getting the, um, the driver's not quite get, getting the current it should be. Alright, now I'm going to short this capacitor out and leave it shorted out for storage. I always get into the habit of doing that when you're playing with these things, especially these bloody capacitors. These things are lethal, so be very, 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 very careful when you come across one of these and start to have some fun with it. They are not a toy. You have been warned. Anyway, I've got a spark cap there. It's a must, or always use a spark cap. You could blow your bloody transformer to smithereens and your ZVS to smithereens, so that's there for safety. Anyway, I can uh, jump on the high voltage cap band where I can have some fun, but I'll have to, um, Make up a good little safe, secure setup. I can have a little uh, chamber to pop things in and have a good safety um, barrier in place. So then once this thing fully charges up, I reckon I could vaporize some components really good. Anyway, one very important thing I forgot to mention: my piss weak wiring, only capable of what 10 amps, not giving me a very good result. I need something much thicker than that. Probably something like that with a bit of extra high voltage insula insulation added to it will help deliver the current better. Then it's gonna, I'm going to start getting some big bangs. So I'm going to have to design the shorting strip system and I want to connect wires like that to it. Yeah, this is, this is, I'm losing a lot of power through this. A lot of power has been lost through wires like that. So again, be very careful. Anyway. That'll be enough for now. Thanks for watching.